Okay, so I got this really cool toy I want to show you guys. Check it out. So here it is. It is a sequential shift light I bought for the Miata. I've been watching a lot of F1, so I'm a bit on this F1 tip. So anything to make my car seem more like an F1 car, I am going to buy it no matter what and how stupid it may be. What's really cool about this shift light is one, it's sequential, which is nice. Um, it's also way less than any other sequential shift light I was able to find out there. I think the average price runs around like 200, 300 bucks. I think I got this one for about like 100 or a little bit under 100 bucks. And I'll leave a link in the description below if this is something that that you want to get for yourself. Now what's really cool about this shift light is how easy it is to install. Uh, they make different versions that you can plug into and hardwire into your vehicle. Uh, but for the Miata, I got one that plugs right there into the OBD2 port. Now the dongles are pretty big, uh, so for your car, you kind of want to make sure, depending on where your OBD2 dongle is supposed to go, uh, that it doesn't interfere obviously with your gassing. Uh, luckily for the Miata, it sits pretty forward, so actually my foot, like unless I really arch it back, really doesn't hit it under normal driving conditions. So lucked out on that. It is then powered via USB, and I'm running it here into a cigarette lighter. So that's it for the install. Now setup is also pretty easy as well. Basically you turn the car on, you don't have to turn the engine on for this, and you push this little adjustment button here and it'll enter setup mode. Now the first mode that you can adjust is, oh, hold on, let me see if it turns on again. There we go, is the red line. You can see it's at 6,500 there. 4,200 is where I set the light to start to go up. This third mode, you don't really need to pay attention. This mode right here is going to be the brightness adjustment. I have on the lowest one for now. And that is it. You have two modes of sequential lights. One is where each single light will illuminate before it flashes at you. And the second one is as the lights go up, they'll remain on. Um, and the way to change it on this particular unit is every time you enter setup mode, it is supposed to change pretty much how the, the lights uh, interact. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a way to really preview which sequential mode you're in. So you're just gonna have to kind of, I guess, drive it and guess. Now for a demonstration on how this looks when you're actually driving, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my red line. And I believe it goes up to 15,000 RPM, which is definitely way too much for us. But I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it so that red line is like, let's say 4,000 RPM, okay? And the next mode, yeah, let's just have it start at like 1,000 RPM. Cool, and then everything else should be good. So let's, uh, I'll turn on the car, I'll let you see how it works when I rev it, and then uh, later on we'll take it out on the street so you can kind of see it under practical use. Cool, you can see the RPMs there. Real quick note, um, the Miata apparently is not, another Miata thing, right? Hashtag Miata things, is the tack really isn't super accurate. So you're gonna kind of see this number be about 500 RPM off from my actual tachometer, but it's getting fed directly from the ECU. So I guess, you know, the best thing to do is trust the ECU. So there might be a little bit of a delay in terms of where the tack goes and where the shift light goes. So when I actually do set up the sequential light for how I actually want it to be permanently, uh, I'm gonna have to adjust to about a 500 RPM or so delay. So just keep that in mind. All right, but let's, let's test it out here. So let's go to about, as you can see, about 2000, how the light starts to build. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's see how it looks like on the street. 